All new tonight, minority small businesses are being targeted by an armed robber in Hunting Park. The crimes have happened at several places along the Wyoming Avenue corridor, and police think it's the same person who's behind it. Action News' Waltz Perez spoke uh, with authorities and also business, business owners and has the very latest. Walter. That's right, Shuri. There is a lot of surveillance video of this suspect. In each case, he's wearing a mask, but every time his method of operation is repeated. He's targeting Latino-owned businesses, and nearly every time, their businesses owned and operated by women. This is surveillance video of a scene that has unfolded several times over the past few weeks in Hunting Park. An armed thief hitting business after business and making away with thousands of dollars. The manager of a local restaurant on East Wyoming Avenue, who asked we not reveal her identity, says the same gunman has robbed her eatery twice, including a holdup during the morning breakfast rush. Our store was completely packed. Uh, they came in here pointed the gun at the customers who were out here and pointed the gun at me. A few blocks away, we spoke with another restaurant manager who tells a similar story. This is surveillance footage of the second time the thief held up her shop. She says, quote, he grabbed the customer and threw him to the ground. This was the second robbery. He pointed his gun at me and I gave him all my money. What was I supposed to do? Councilman at large David O has taken a personal interest in this case and is working with police officials to increase patrols along the Wyoming Avenue corridor and develop other forms of security. O says what makes this case that much more disturbing is that so far the gunman has only been targeting Latino owned businesses. Perhaps because he believes that they're less likely to contact the police. Some of them may not speak English, but it also appears that the business he's primarily targeting, um, if not all of them, are staffed entirely by women. Meanwhile, the business owners and managers we spoke with in this neighborhood are very hopeful that the person responsible is quickly brought to justice. What used to be a joy for me, it's now a nightmare. Now we have confirmed that at least four businesses have been hit over the past two weeks. At least two have been hit twice, as you saw in my story. Fortunately, no injuries to report. Anyone with any information is asked to contact police. Reporting live from Hunting Park, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Shari? Okay.